Hello, it's Jason Payne for Coal Banker Dan Harper Realtors. Today I'm back at the beautiful Vintage Oaks community in New Braunfels, Texas, and I want to showcase the custom home builder right behind me, Kirk Holmes. They're a wonderful builder. Let's go check them out. Kirk Holmes is a wonderful custom home builder. They do semi-custom as well, meaning they have some plans you can tweak. And uh, as I'm filming this, this is March 2022. COVID is really kind of at an end here in Texas. In the past two years, prices have changed a lot, and people are getting a little sticker shocked at how much it costs to get a custom home built. Kirk Homes could be a nice alternative if you're not looking for that Ferrari, but you're looking for that Lexus. Kirk Homes might be the builder for you. Uh, they start off depending on where you're wanting to build your home at around, I hate saying prices because two years from now it comes back to bite me. Um, but like $190 a square foot and probably could end up in the mid $200 a square foot. Depends on how much bells and whistles you want to put into it. All right, let's head on inside. All right, beautiful front entrance. Love having a little sitting area right out front. That's the correct spelling of the names is Kirk Holmes. Now, Kirk Holmes, like I said, it, they can do full custom, so you can do these big, giant, vaulted ceilings if you want to. Now, of course, those are gonna be upgrades, and I highly recommend you reaching out to the, myself, and I can put you in contact with their sales reps uh, to kind of showcase what's an upgrade and what's not uh, per their sales rep. What you're looking at here has approximately 400K and upgrades in it because yes they want to showcase all the bells and whistles that they can put into the house but this is their office with tall ceilings we got nice concrete doors upgraded baseboards just beautiful definitely like having this little dining room set up up front but check out the main living space Just a really nice use of space. With, and like I said, they went with the tall vaulted ceilings. Um, something I've recently learned, pay attention to as you're going through the process. If you have the tall 15 foot ceilings, doing kind of what they did here where it drops down to like uh, 11 or 12 foot ceilings. As I think there's 11, maybe even 10 here but that makes it easier for you to do your kitchen because now you're not gonna have that big tall gap above the cabinet. So if you went like super tall ceilings in here, you're gonna have to go with the super tall cabinets or else it's just gonna look weird because they did that drop down for the kitchen breakfast nook area. You can do that. Love the dark, the two-tone uh, with the dark blue. Uh, beautifully done. Gorgeous stove with a pot filler. This is a high-end GE, their luxury brand. The view from the sink. Of course, they got my single basin sink. I still like the granite a little better. But to show, oop, almost forgot my important part. I've got to do it. The built-in microwave. It's got the push button for, to upload from the top. Love them. A little more expensive, but I think they're worth it. All right, they've got a little bit of different pantry set up in here. They've got a little butler pantry set up, a little wine chiller. More wine storage. Any go pass through here. Easy access to the dining room. And they got a little pantry room set up for you. Kind of nice. With more drawers to tuck everything away. And of course, you got a nice little breakfast nook space. Now, these windows, absolutely gorgeous. Of course, they're going to be an upgrade as well. All right, let's go check out the back patio area. Like I said, in Texas, a lot of times a year, we've got some great out outdoor sitting weather. As long as the sun isn't setting on your back porch, 
So if the sun's setting your back porch, if you're on the west coast, that might look nice, but in Texas, that heat will melt you during August. So you always want the sun either setting on the sides of your house or on the front of your house, just because if it's happy hour in August, you want the house providing you a little bit of shade on the outdoor space. Now, of course, again, this is all an upgraded patio, but uh, we do like our outdoor sitting space. Got the outdoor kitchen built in, little rails. Very nice use of space out here. Now, I would kind of rack and stack Kirk Holmes price-wise is really similar to Grand Endeavor. And I did a video tour of the Grand Endeavor model, which is actually just down the street. So if you're in Vintage Oaks model home shopping, go down to the other, a little further down the cul-de-sac and you'll see the Kirk Holmes model. But uh, yeah, they're still beating me up because I did that video two years ago. And the prices for building a house was completely different two years ago pre-COVID. So yeah, don't go in there and say, we saw the bald guy on YouTube and we want to, you to build this house for $150 or $180 square foot. Times have changed. The world has moved to Texas. Materials cost more. There's no supply. Trades are charging more. Everything has gone up. Our housing market has changed a lot. I'm gonna do a video about that soon. All right, this is the guest bedroom. And uh, wow, it's got a big closet there. So no, this is not the master, it's just a guest bedroom. Full walk-in shower, very nicely done. Love this fireplace. All right. I don't know if I showcased the office. But yeah, I did. Yeah, I showcased the office when I came in. But it got multiple entrances to the office space. And coming out, you've got a full bath with dual vanities. I forgot to ask which plan this is built by Kirk Holmes. I will put it in the comments down below. So uh, to showcase, hey, if you want to come here and look at this, plan look at the comments sorry i don't have that off the top of my head all right let's head to the other side now this how this plan that i do not know the name of just yet does have what's called it's called a one and a half story so we're going to head upstairs and show you just what that looks like it's going to have another bedroom up there and a fun play area. Well, let's not just talk about it. Let's go look up. Oh, beautiful day in Texas. A little on the chilly side for March. We're like at 50 degrees. Had a cold front come through. All right, this is gonna have your upstairs game room loft area. Hmm, pardon me, that has a full bath. So you don't have to leave if you don't want to, if you're hosting a poker game, you've got a full bath there for available. Another view of what the view looks like out here at Vintage Oaks in the Texas Hill Country. A little sign there for Kirk Holmes. This is open access to the attic space. They've got it blocked off, so I can't quite show it. But a great place for additional storage. And this is the one bedroom up here. Perfect spot if you have that uh, <clears throat> teenager that wants his own little apartment type setup up here, this would be a great plan. Or the 20 something year old or 35 year old you can't kick out of the house. They could come up here and have their own little apartment. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, we are now downstairs. If you're gonna go with Kirk Holmes as your builder, they do have their own design center downstairs. I mean, in their model home, it's in their garage. 
these are always kind of neat. Great use of space underneath the stairs. But this would be a three car garage. Sorry, the sales reps in here doing a little work, but they can have their own design center here. And that's a good way to save money uh, versus paying to have a big luxury place. But it's a three car garage, very nice. You got your mud room. And this is your kind of your open to the public powder room. So people don't have to be around messy kids stuff. And then let's show you what the laundry room would look like if you went with this plan. And like I said, Kirk Holmes does do full custom so you can really pick and choose what you want in the house. Oop. That's going to be the master bedroom closet. One of those features I'll talk about in a little bit, but I do love the that fact that the master bedroom has access to the closet. Speaking of master bedroom, here we go. We have the tall vaulted A-frame ceiling in here. I really like going up. Uh, if you're considering building a custom house going up, especially in the main living area, definitely adds a nice bit of grand grandeur to the house along of course with eight foot doors. Beautifully done bathroom. Standard bathtub would be kind of the framed in tub, but this is an upgrade tub option that you could do. But check out the lighting and I love the balance they have with that. Along with everything else, beautifully done. But check out this shower. We've got your mud inset shower. And you step around, you got the two shower heads right there. And I'm sure if you wanted to do an even bigger upgrade and put the rain shower in, they could do that because, well, they're a custom home builder. But here's the way well, you got your water closet, plenty of elbow room in there. But check out this closet. They got all sorts of cabinet space. Little check yourself mirror right there. I love this island in the middle. And then what I was just talking about, having that pass through to your laundry room, but you definitely want to keep this door, have some way to lock it. I wouldn't want, especially if I had little ones, them being able to come into my closet or have access to the master bath and master bedroom if I don't want them to. But having been able to unlock a door and come out and do your laundry, bring it right back into your bedroom or your closet. That's a wonderful little sneaky need that not a lot of people know about. All right, let's go one last look of this main area. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the custom home builder, Kirk Homes. Now they don't build just in Vintage Oaks. They build with like a 120 mile radius of this. So if you're looking for anything in the Texas Hill Country area and you're custom home shopping, definitely consider Kirk Homes. Um, they're based out of Houston and they built a beautiful home and at a fairly reasonable price.